The Euler Spaces number eight is called Up, Down, Sideways, Round, which is kind of a strange title. What I'm talking about is dimensions of moving the bow. So I wanted to explore everything you can do with the bow. And the bow can do a lot if you just leave it alone and let it do what it wants to do. I thought it was very nice to study these dimensions. Up, down, dimension for me is this. So it means being capable of doing this with your bow. You can flick it down with the left with little finger and just let it come back down. Yeah. And um, sideways, for me, is moving this way. <laughs> a technique in Italian they call it spazzolato, which is a brush stroke. You're brushing the string with everything. And the circular, as the name suggests, is like this. So let's look at those with the viola. This is the vertical one. And at the beginning of the piece, it's very nice to exaggerate, like a falling tree. You just hold the bow up, let it fall, and catch it when it bounces back. You do it behind the bridge, in front of the bridge. And the feeling in your hand teaches you what the bow wants to do. Then you can speed up a little bit. And then you find the nice tempo. But not working too hard. The bow is doing most of the work for you. Yeah? So we explore that for a while. There's a thing called pan pipes, which is the same, but you pull it a bit this way, and a little ponticello, just to imitate some, someone playing the pan pipes. Just to imitate someone playing the pan pipes. <laughs> Then the fun begins, the sideways movement, this one. We have to learn to a good exercise to practice with a bow doing this, swinging round the centre of the hand. You can see it this way. The thumb is round and you roll the bow round the, round the thumb, like this. Then you go back to here. And this gives you a very big movement at the point. So you're actually thinking of brushing the string, going from the finger to the, to the bridge. Finger, bridge, bridge, bridge. And what's nice about this is the sound. The notes are not so important in this piece. It's the sound that's very nice. So when it starts... Okay, so we explore that for a while. Then we come to the circular, which is... And here we're trying to sort of cut the sound using a very light bow. It's not, not this sort of stuff. Very light, so the sound floats above the instrument. It's a little unpredictable. Well, the accents, of course, are like this. Then we come to colenio, which is simply turning... Colenio is the wood of the bow. So you just turn the bow over. Best to turn it away from yourself. So, that, so you practice. It's like doing your own echo, yeah. And then... kind of thing. And of course the wood bounces as well as the hair does. And then the new. Then we come to the special effect helicopter, which is very strong. It's like circular bowing but up here. So it's good to hold the bow. You can hold it like a like a sort of caveman would hold the bow. And it's a mixture of this sound with some pitch. Trying to sound like a helicopter. Then the piece ends with the bow doing its own trick. So you are in this last one. You try to make it bounce as much as possible on its own. So it means releasing all these fingers here. It means the string parallel to the floor. It means finding a bouncy part of the string, a bouncy part of the bow, and off we go.